اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I am going to discuss how to report this particular measurement model. Now, this particular measurement model is based on this conceptual framework, whereby I've got internal marketing as a higher order construct with three sub-dimensions, these lower order constructs, and this higher order construct with these sub-dimensions. How did I build this model or design this model? You can refer to the previous sessions in this series. The link will be shared in the description. Now, in the previous sessions, uh, we did discuss how to assess the reliability and validity of this particular measurement model. In this session, I'm going to discuss how to report this particular measurement model that is based on this conceptual framework. I've got this template here to report the measurement model. Now we start with the measurement model as to what is the measurement model and what are we going to do? We are going to report factor loadings, construct reliability and construct validity. The first step is we report our factor loadings. Now what is factor loading and the range of factor loading and then it is important that you tell if there were any items removed. I did not delete any items because the loadings were over 0.50 for each of the item. None were removed. Now once you have described factor loadings, the next step is to present your loadings and here I've got a table 1. Now this structure can be used for reporting a measurement model in a thesis. So here is my table for factor loadings. How do I get this table? Pretty easy. Let's go here. Let's run the model, PLS algorithm, make sure path is selected, standardized, default, the rest is fine, start. Now go to report and go to outer loadings. And in this case, I'm going to need metrics and I'm going to select all of it or you can export it too. Or reduce the zoom here like this, all of it and just simply copy it in one single go. Here it is. Right click, copy, otherwise you can export it to CSV file as well. Both of them are fine. In this case, I'm going, just going to copy it and just bring them here. Let's remove this earlier table here. And now here it is. Now one thing that is obviously uh, slightly problematic is that you will have to arrange these. Now, if you bring it to Word directly as you have, you might have trouble in arranging all these values. So the best thing is take it to Excel here. Let's take it to Excel, paste it here. Now this is fine. Now, although I numbered my latent constructs, but my items were not arranged in the form of numbers. The number, if you give numbers at the start of it, and then obviously you can arrange it, them in ascending or descending order but in this case i didn't do it so what you can do is just simply let's say vision so we, i need vision at the start so where is vision here it is so i select them here press cut go up right click here insert cut cells so vision what about the next one it's development right click cut and paste it here what about the third one vision development and the third one was rewards and I'm going to quickly do it just to save time. Now this is done. All the values arranged. Now some of them have got two decimal points while other have got three. So I will only select the values here till my last construct right click format cells number three decimal points. Okay. Now select all press copy bring it here right next to factor loadings in your word document press paste now the results are in your word document in table format select all well let's put it as the font size is 10 and no border bottom border top border 
again bottom border for the top row and let's bring it into center centralize yep that's fine right click auto fit to window that's fine now that you have reported your factor loadings the next step is indicator multicollinearity now what is multicollinearity and the criteria and then your multicollinearity where is your multicollinearity if you come here and look at this vif for the indicators here it is you can increase the zoom here and let's simply export to, to csv open your excel here it is just paste it here so here are your values again the decimal points just go up to three decimal points right click format cells number three decimal points okay select Control a copy and similarly you can paste it just remove the earlier table here and just paste it here now this is done and right click out of it to window bottom border top border and the bottom border for the first row and center let me change the font i normally prefer georgia here it is and similarly you can do for this table here save it now that you have reported your indicator collinearity you can obviously uh, now next step reliability analysis so where are the construct reliability statistics now i'm going to report ground batch alpha and composite reliability again you start with the definition then the measures that you are using then the range that you received and whether they were over threshold yes they were and finally you report them where are they if you come here construct reliability and validity again you simply right click copy it bring it into excel paste it here you do not need row a and i'm not going to report ave now so i'm just going to copy this one or simply again right click format cells number three okay and simply copy and bring it here paste again right click out of it to window bottom border top border select the first row select bottom border and select these two columns center and you can change the font as well now construct validity you start with convergent validity which is measured using ave and where is your ave and it is over 0 0.50 the cr is now in this case only one was less than 0 0.50 but still the cr value for this one was in the earlier uh, version or document it was over 0 0.70 so your ave if it is less than 0 0.50 and greater than 0 0.40 but your CR value is greater than 0 0.0, you can say it is, or the convergent validity is established. So this is what I'm talking about here. In this case, let's see if we've got this issue. If we do not, we will make some changes to the text. Here is your AVE again. Let's copy it. Right click, copy, and paste here. You do not need these. Right click, delete. Here it is. Let's paste it. So none of your AVE values are less than 0 0.50. Yes. Again, format it. Bottom border. And you put it in center. So it shows that all the constructs have AVE value over 0 0.50. So hence your convergent validity is established. So this is how you can report your convergent validity. Moving on, obviously change the font if you want. 
The next thing, discriminant validity. What is discriminant validity? And the first one for null and locker criterion within construct variance higher than the correlation of that construct with all the other constructs in the study. The square root of AV for this particular construct higher than its correlation with all the construct. Is that the case in your study? Let's come to discriminant validity for null and locker criterion. You can simply copy it. Just reduce the zoom a bit here and then copy it. Right click copy and Excel paste and you can simply just copy it because it's already arranged as you like. Moving on, I'm going to remove this and paste it here. Next, I'm not going to arrange it now. Next is cross loading. Similarly, you can come here, cross loadings, again, export to a CSV and you can paste it here. Again, you will need to rearrange it as we did earlier with the loadings. And finally, you will add or correct the decimal points up to three, number three, and then copy this table and paste it into your Word document. And finally, your HTMT, where is your HTMT? Here is your HTMT, select all, it's already arranged. Right click, copy, get to Excel, paste it, go up to three decimal points. Okay, and copy. And where is your Word document? Here it is. Again, you can obviously arrange them as required, bottom border, top border, and the bottom border for the first row. And just remove this space here, go to Georgia. That's it. Obviously, the size increases. Size number 10, right click, out of it to window. That's fine now. So this is how you can report your measurement model for a thesis. Now, how do you report it for a research paper? That's similar as well. You just need to copy the results like this one here. So your measurement model analysis there, we've got different section for everything. Here, you do not need separate sections. You just need to define what your measurement model does, then the factor loadings, then if any factor loadings led to deletion of any item, then your reliability, your validity, convergent validity, all of it reported just as this in a single paragraph. Then you report your reliability, validity, and your HTMT. Now here, I've talked about deletion of items. Now in this paper, we deleted certain items and we did not delete one item, DIS5, because of low loadings. So I'm just explaining to the readers that we only delete items if they significantly improve the reliability and validity. That's why there is a discussion on AVE here. Further, the next step, reliability, then convergent validity, then discriminant validity. Now look at this here. In the thesis, we reported loading separately, your alpha values were reported separately, then your AVE was reported separately. Here, this is not the case. You have one table, reliability and validity analysis, whereby you report your, or show your constructs, then the items in each construct, the loading for each item, the alpha value for the construct, row, CR, and AVE. And again, the table. So I've combined formal and locker criterion and HTMT into one single table. Look at this. This is square root of AVE for this construct. And these are the correlations of ECO with all the other constructs in the study. Similarly, all these others. And these are the HTMT values between these constructs. Now you might have to redo this again because Smart PLS won't give you like this. Okay, this value is missing, but this is how you do it. So HTMT between ETH and ECO, whatever your constructs are, you just simply have to do it again and redo this table to save space and to properly present your results in a research paper. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to report a basic measurement model. Thank you very much.